Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and I know you keep saying, Paolo, Paolo, where are those hidden craftables that are in Saints and Sinners? Well, you'd be glad. Ooh, Lou, <laughs> check this out. Ooh, more loot. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in this, more loot, more loot. <laughs> Kinds of loot everywhere at the moment. <laughs> so it's like, uh, <laughs> So when you reach the shallows, you'll see a lady straight away and she'll be calling to you. Now this is a side quest and you have to actually do this side quest to actually get this item. And this Please. is the Revolver 45 ACP and the 45 ACP round. So there's two crafting materials that you can actually get from this. Um, when you do the side mission, she'll ask you basically to go and kill a hubby. You'll go and shoot a hubby, gain a ring. You need to take the ring back. She gives you then the code to the safe. All these codes are randomized every time you play through. So you can't just watch this video and use my codes because it won't work. You'll have to get your own code. And then you need to go back to the blue mansion on the shallows, bottom floor, right near the main entrance uh, uh, to the main house, the main doors to the main house. You'll see that it's it's one of the big doors that are there in the study, I believe it is. And then there's a safe there. Put that code into the safe, open it up, and voila. That is where the first location is. Okay, so basically the next location is Via Carola, and Via Carola is the next location you will end up going to to get some intel for May. However, when you go to this place, there is a safe there, but you can't get the code until you get to the ward. So you're gonna miss the code safe here, and you might have to then come back to get the code safe. But there is still another recipe here as well. So that big blue building, or at least where the intel is, is covered by people. And if you did it like me the first time where you snuck around the back and you got the intel and you were like, yay, you got the intel and you got out, then yeah, you missed this recipe because basically it's inside that house and it's in the kitchen on the oven. And this is the Jamola, is it Jamola? Jambola, Jam, Jamalo? <laughs> Is it jambala? This is the jambala, I think, food recipe. I think that's how you pronounce it. They all do different attributes. Uh, there's three of them, and one of them will give you 25% uh, extra health. One of them will make your weapons more durable, and the other one will make your stamina regain faster. So yes, they do give you extra attributes, and they also give you 50% extra stamina back instantly as well. So it's definitely worth going to the bottom floor to get this particular item. At this point, you're going to be going to the graveyard to talk to May. And when you finish talking to May, there is an orange building down the road. Inside this orange building, it has a kitchen, obviously, like every building should have. And when you're inside the kitchen near the oven to the left of it, on the floor is a bainet. Um, this is another piece of food. I don't know if I pronounced that properly, but hopefully I did. Um, so this is a pretty good piece of food and yes, this is another crafting material. So now the game's gonna get you to travel to the ward and when you're at the ward, there is a code at the Null Shipping Yard. So Shipping Company, I believe it's called, the Null Shipping Company. So when you go in there, you'll see where the code is. It's on the bottom floor. I'll show you where it is. And um, and then the underlever crafting recipe is literally where the intel is, so you can't miss it. If you're going to go and pick up the intel, look around, you'll see there's an underlever rifle and the recipe for it. But now we're going to jump quickly to Via Corolla because the code you just got is for Via Corolla, and this is where the safe is at Via Corolla, where you need to put that code in. And that code gives you some Mandy's hand recipe, which is the dual Wolverine claw thing, I believe. So yes, that's definitely a cool weapon and uh, you're gonna want it for sure. So 
So now we're at the old town and there is a safe here in the biggest house on the map, but you can't get the code until you get to Rampart. So we're gonna leave that until we get to Rampart. But there is a recipe here in the first building you come to. It's a brick building. It's just literally just not far down the road from where you actually come in from. And when you go through that brick building, you've got two uh, enemies to kill. You shoot them in the head. There's one outside, deal with that later. And then when you go to the fridge, and I think it's inside the fridge, you will find the gumbo. Um, and that's the other recipe food meal that will give you uh, some attribute of some sort. I, don't, I can't remember which attribute that gives you. If I'm gonna be honest with you, it might be the durability. I think, I'm not sure, but there you go. So next we're heading towards Rampart and we're going to Rampart because Memorial Lane, even though it has a hidden door, we don't have the key for it yet. So that's the only place where there is a craftable in Memorial Lane. So here at Rampart, well, it's like the gold mine of parts and bits and pieces that you need. So basically here, there's two crafting recipes. There's a key and there's a code, right? So the first crafting recipe is just along the mission. If you follow the mission that you're actually supposed to do, which is find Kevin and the survivors, you're in the gym. When you're at the gym, you'll see a bunch of bleachers. And when you see the bleachers, you will notice that you'll have to climb up. So when you climb up to the top, you will then jump down then you'll kill a zombie, then you'll jump it down again and you'll find a survivor. Right next to that survivor is one of the recipes and this is the little robot recipe one. So this is the exploding bot recipe just here. So and then now you kind of find, it says follow the um, footprints. But instead of following the footprints exactly where you need to go, you could go to the right and go into the school that way. But this is when you go into the school. But if you follow it to the right, you'll eventually get to the area where the key is stashed and it's not it's on the side of where kevin is so when you find kevin and you find him like asking you to finish him off because he ain't going to survive that side you have a wing right down one side of the wing is the key and down the other side of the ring you're going to find the fourth and pain hatchet as well so um recipe crafting recipe this uh is a very good one as well and the key is for memorial lane, uh, mem memory lane, memorial lane, sorry, um, hidden door location. So yeah, basically you've got the key down there and you've also got a recipe on the same school area as Kevin is. Now to get the code though, you have to go to the other side of the school. So opposite to um, Kevin, and make your way all the way down there and find the music room and inside the music room and you'll know you're there because you'll see a big grand piano and you'll see music notes everywhere you'll find exactly where I'm showing right now um, where the code is and this code is for that um, safe that was in the old town um, and yeah so next we're going to show you Memorial Lane the hidden door and then we'll show you the safe at the old town.
So there is a sticky proximity bomb that drops on enemies. There's these guys that wear these kind of like skulls on their heads um, that drop them. And when you're with Bastion, if you uh, pick the reclaimers and fight against the people that surround the building, which is the tower people, they will drop it as well. So now we're off to the Bastion, and the Bastion has a house where a car is literally crashed into it. In that house, you'll find the code. Now this code is going to be used for the resting place where you um, will see in this video that I've got here, where you'll see there's like a statues of people playing instruments. It's called sort of the jazz man or something like that. And there is a safe there where you put the code in, it's next to an arch. You can't miss it, it's sort of in the resting place as you come out of the catacombs. Uh, this gives you exploding arrows. The next one's a bit of a spoiler, so if you haven't got to the end and you don't want the ending completely spoiled, I mean it's not completely spoiled but it's just a tiny spoiler, it's right at the end so you might want to stop watching now because yes the m416 and plus the ammo the last two are right at the end because you can carry on playing afterwards if you want to but you know you've already completed the story by now most people probably won't unless they want to get all the crafting materials which if you've already watched this you've probably already got so the last two is at the end so i'm going to carry on now so you know hopefully you've stopped if you didn't want any spoilers but yes, it's in the resting place, it's in the church, it's actually in the reserve, it's in the armory of the reserve. So if you do this storyline where you save Casey by flooding the armory, you will not be able to get this crafting item. So do the one where you flood the comms room and you will kill Casey, um, but the armory will stay open and you can then go down all the way to the reserve and then you can grab the last two crafting materials which is obviously the magazine for the m416 and the m416 crafting how to craft that so that's the last two and uh yeah there you go guys i mean and get them ladies um there is all 15 hidden craftable items that you can find within the world i must admit that last one was a bit of an enigma i didn't think it'd be at the end there because that seems a bit kind of you know what I mean? So, you know, it'd be nice if it was a bit earlier in the game so we could actually use the M4 instead of like have to use it afterwards, which is a bit weird. But yeah, there you all. That's hopefully this makes your life easier. So, yeah, uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart. Hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this. Leave a comment below if this was helpful or not. Thank you for watching. I love you long time. Ciao.